Welcome to another installment of the ProDrift Series video podcast. This time we come to you from the launch of the 2009 ProDrift Ireland Series at Ennis County Clare in the southwest of Ireland. The town of Ennis warmly welcomed the first Irish drifting event of 2009, but unfortunately the same could not be said for the Irish weather. Mixed conditions on Saturday were forecast to subside on Sunday, but the dry start of the day quickly turned wet with persistent rain, which made conditions difficult for the ProDrift drivers and the thousands of Ennis fans who arrived in their masses. 2009 ProDrift competitions have undergone some changes to previous formats. Saturday now provides a pre-qualifying session for all of the pro seeded drivers with the top 16 drivers progressing to the main competition on Sunday. On Sunday, conventional qualifying has been replaced with the new Pro Drift Super Lap competition. The Super Lap requires a solitary pass of the course by the driver, his overall score determining a final twin battle position. Debuting at Ennis, the new Superlap format was hailed as a major success by fans and drivers. Its interaction and tension was matched by a nail-biting climax, with James Dean claiming the top spot as the last car to pass through the course. Conditions here today, as you can see by the umbrella I'm holding, is uh, wet and windy. Uh, behind us, you can see we still have a massive crowd here, despite the conditions. And you know what we talked about. Yeah, I think the new Super Lap is an unbelievable idea. It gives great attention to the crowd and uh, even though I probably sounded like a complete wally on the microphone, it was good fun while I was up there. I stayed up there till three, two cars to go. Gavin Lenehan took my place, James Dean then went out and took his place, so I qualified third and very, very happy with that. All the drivers here today are all on a very similar skill level. It only takes one very simple mistake and uh, you're out. So, you know, it'll be a very hard fought battle in the top 16. It's like hell here this weekend. Uh, we started off with my car yesterday, got out, first lap of practice, blew up the engine in it. So, we got, we got a loan of a car off SCS Vehicles in Waterford. They supplied us with a car, which I hit off the wall and bend all the steering arms. Then we got it going again and I hit it off the wall again and we had a nightmare of qualifying. Super lap I think is brilliant, like it really gets the drivers involved with the crowd, like you know. Um, it didn't work out to my advantage there today in borrow car with no steering, like you know, it was a nightmare for me but like like it really means you can push really really hard like you know. To be honest if I get the car back in one piece I'll be happy out. Uh, I'll be looking for top four I'll be fairly happy with but like, if I get the car back in one piece Everybody wants me, everybody wants me now. Well, uh, it's more here in there today, but I'm very happy that it's wet because um, I'm slightly underpowered in the 180 I'm driving. I'd say if it was if it was dry now today, I'd be in trouble. Trinchy went out there first, and he got the highest score, and he managed to stay up for 14 cars, and then Gavin Linehan knocked him out, and then I knocked him out. I was the last car, and there's a lot of pressure on me at the line, but. I just went for it and it worked my way, so I was very happy with that. But uh, yeah, the top 16 will be very interesting here today. Um, it's anyone's game really with the weight, it's so tricky. Uh, when you're coming over a bump, coming onto the wall, you can wash out so fast, and if you wash out, you're in serious trouble. The top 16 battles have also changed slightly, with judges now selecting their preferred driver over the conventional aggregate scoring system. With three judges voting and the influence of the crowd taken into consideration, this means a majority rules. First on track was top qualifier James Dean, who made light work of Stephen Shine in the green 180SX. Driving the borrowed S13, Max's tyres sponsor Dean Kearney took down local hero John O'Connell in the BMW. Mike Dean was made work hard for his passage to the top eight against a determined John Paul McCarthy in the E36 BMW and the crowd favourite Johnny Power already displaying battle scars eliminated another local driver, Christy Carpenter in his Nissan S14. A sudden death battle for Lenehan brothers Alan and Gavin was required before elder brother Gavin defeated his Hankook sponsored sibling and moved on to the great eight. 
Team WKD driver Nigel Colfer saw off the challenge of Tommy McDonough in the Cosworth-powered Volvo. And in the final top 16 battle, this mistake from Alan Sinnott allowed for an easy passage to the next round for Conor Lenehan in the MIJ Nissan. 2008 Pro Drift heroes Dean Kearney and James Dean opened the top eight battles with the Nexon sponsored Nissan of James taking victory. Team WKD's Johnny Power acquired sudden death battles against a determined Mike Dean to secure his place in the final four. And it was Power's WKD teammate Nigel Colfer who took the penultimate final four position, beating Gavin Lenehan in the Black 180SX. Conor Lenehan again proved his skill in the wet conditions, a slight mistake from Martin French meaning that the yellow S14 would go no further at round one. The first semi-final was perhaps the battle of the day. Requiring sudden death, Johnny Power and James Dean delivered intense competition with the WKD 180SX limping into the final of round one and James Dean was eliminated. Conor Lenehan was edging towards his first Pro Drift final until he lost traction through the main curve, resulting in contact with Nigel Colfer and retirement from the competition. Nigel Colfer proceeded to meet his WKD teammate Johnny P in the final. With power chasing in this second run of the final battle, he pushed too hard and made contact with the lead car of Colfer. This was deemed to be the only mistake between the pair, but it was enough for Nigel Colfer to take his first ever Pro Drift victory at the drenched and deteriorating circuit of Ennis County Clare. So slippy out there today, and the track just got ed up in the rain, you know, it was so bumpy, and you know, the potholes out there were crazy. Like. But uh, it's just there's one line there that you can miss all the potholes and that's just what I stuck to all day and it seemed to work. Very wet, <laughs> water everywhere. Um, went in a bit too hot in behind Nigel. Uh, just gave a little nudge and I had to straighten myself and basically that was it. Game lights out, game over. Yeah, well I think the new car is gonna be is gonna be interesting. Like I don't know what way it's gonna work out. It's gonna take a lot of time to set it up but hopefully it should be running in the next three weeks and if it is you know we'll get some testing and try to get it working right and if I'm going to be coming in to punch us down confident with the car I'd hope to be having a good battle after this year's championship again too so we'll see what happens. Having secured eight Superlap points plus his third position overall, Nexon Tire sponsor James Dean leads the Irish Championship as it heads to Punchestown in Kildare for round two on May 30th. Punchestown promises to be an awesome weekend of drifting with both Irish and Super Series taking place at the famous venue. You can check out all the Punchestown event information by visiting ProDriftSeries.com. We'll see you all there.